Hello, everyone. I'm Zhang Chi. I'm very glad to present our work, Deep EMD, Few Shot Image Classification, with differentiable or small verse distance and structured classifiers. Few Shot Image Classification is a most well studied meta learning task, which aims to perform classification on new image categories with only a limited amount of labeled training data. A line of previous research used metric based methods to solve this problem. Metric-based methods bypass the difficult optimization process in low data regime for a new task and directly reason the data relations for classification. Such algorithms usually employ a distance metric such as cosine distance and Euclidean distance to determine the relevance between image embeddings for classification, which are also called learning to compare. Although these methods have achieved some degree of success. We observe that the cluttered background and the large intra class appearance variations may drive the image level embeddings from the same category far apart in a given metric space. Moreover, a mixed global representation would struggle to well capture the image structures and is likely to lose useful local feature characteristics which can provide descriptive and transferable information across categories. A natural approach to determine the similarity of two complex structured representations is to compare their building blocks. The difficulty lies in that we don't have their correspondence supervision for training, and not all building elements can always find their counterparts in the other structure. To solve the problems above, in this paper, we formalize the few-shot image classification as an instance of optimal matching, and we propose to use the optimal matching cost between two structures to represent their dissimilarity. Given the local feature representation sets generated by two images, we use the earth movers distance to compute their structural similarity. The EMD can acquire the optimal matching flows between two structures that have the minimal overall distance. It can also be interpreted as the minimum cost to reconstruct a structure representation against the other one. The EMD has a formulation of the transportation problem, and the global minimum can be obtained by solving a convex linear programming problem. We explore three methods to extract local image representations, including fully convolutional networks, image girds, and random patch sampling. As you can see from the structure, an important problem parameter is the weight of each node, which controls the total matching flows from it. Intuitively, the node with a large weight plays a more important role in the comparison of two sets, while a node with a small weight can hardly influence the overall distance, no matter which nodes it connects with. We propose a cross-reference mechanism to determine the weights of the elements. The weight of each node is determined by comparing it with the global statistics of the other structure. This aims to assign more weights to the co-occurrent regions, which are more likely to be the foreground region. When it comes to the K-Shot setting, where multiple support images are available, we propose to learn a structured fully connected layer as the classifier for classification to make use of the increasing number of training images. The structured FC layer includes a group of learnable vectors for each class. At inference time, we use the EMD to compute the distance between the image embeddings and the learnable vector set in each class for classification. The structured FC layer is an extension of the standard fully connected layer in that it replaces the dot product operations between vectors with the EMD function between vector sets such that the structured FC layer can directly classify feature maps. We conduct extensive experiments on multiple datasets to demonstrate the effectiveness of our algorithm. Experiments on four popular few-shot classification benchmarks show that our algorithm on both one-shot and five-shot classification tasks significantly outperforms the baselines and state-of-the-art methods. We also provide visualization experiments to observe the matching flows, since we have the correspondence information between the regions in two images, we can reconstruct one image with the local patches from the other one. We use the weight to control the brightness of the corresponding regions. Our algorithm can effectively establish semantic correspondence between local regions and assign small weights to the background. Thank you for your watching.